The Devolutions Web Login Browser Extension lets you securely access website credentials directly from your password vaults. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect and configure Web Login to store and retrieve credentials from Remote Desktop Manager. Now, first off, you're going to have to go to devolutions.net and download the plugin. So let's click on Products and then Companion Tools and select on Web Login. Now we offer a variety of different extensions depending on the browser you use. Now, since I'm using Chrome, I'm gonna go ahead and download the Chrome extension. So I'm gonna click the add to Chrome button and say add extension. Now it's added. You'll see in the top corner here, normally it loads up. Uh, now in Chrome, there's a little puzzle icon here where I can pin this uh, plugin, but generally that's always in the top right corner somewhere. Now I have to connect web login to remote desktop manager. So I'm going to make sure that remote desktop manager is opened. So I already have it running down here. Now, before we start storing credentials, I want to show you where they're going to be stored. Now, by default, there will be stored in your private vault and in a folder called devolutions web login. So if you're looking for your credentials, this is where they are right now. You'll see I already have four different credentials for my user Maurice. Now that I'm in the browser, I'm going to click on the little extension here. And you'll notice that it wants me to choose a vault to uh, store credentials in. So I'm going to use my vault from remote desktop manager and click that there. Click save. So now they're linked up together. So I'm going to go to a website that I use often here. So my user Maurice goes to his password server website often. So why don't we make this process easier for him without skimping on security? I have three ways that I can actually create a credential for a website. First way is by clicking on the web login plugin and hitting add website. Here I can type the name that I want it to be associated with along with the URL and the username and a password. And then once again, I can say devolutions web login as my folder. I can change that. I can select vault or private vault. The second way to do it is actually to do it directly in remote desktop manager. So I can go into remote desktop manager here. I can go to devolutions web login. I can create a new entry web browser, click OK, and then I can put my own name in there, put the website associated to it, the username, the password, and then check this little box, enable Devolutions Web Login. So this last method of entering credentials is my favorite one because it's the one that is the more intuitive to the user. You go ahead and log in as you always would by putting in your credentials. And once I log in, you'll notice a little pop up window here. It will suggest to save this credential in the devolutions web login folder in my private vault and that's exactly what i want so now i'm going to click save and it says your credential has been successfully added now if i go down to remote desktop manager here you can see here in my web login folder i have a new entry right here if i go to the properties you'll see that it kind of filled out everything for you now you can obviously change this and override if ever you need to so let's click ok now you'll notice that this time when i log in there's a couple different things. There's a little one display to show me that there is a password available or a credential available for this. So I could simply just click it and it'll fill in the information. You'll notice that it's also available up here at the top. Uh, finally, you can also even go into the field here and right click the field and select Devolution Web Login and there you can plug in the credential as well. Now, I want to show you a couple of features that are available with Web Login. So if I go to the options here, I can go to settings and right now we're going to take a look at the RDM options here. You can disable whether RDM is allowed to access uh, devolutions web login. You can specify which default folder that it saves in. You could also have some specific options that show up now here. This is automatically retrieved credentials on page load means when I load up this page, it's going to pull from remote desktop manager and see if there's any credentials available. The next option, which is kind of neat, is automatically filling credentials on load. So when I load the page here, uh, you'll notice that it automatically plugs in the credentials for me. And then lastly, there's also automatically submit the form after filling. And this one will do what it says when you load up the page, it'll fill it in and log in for you. So that's another option that might make things a little bit easier for your users, depending on your security policies that you have 
enabled. So that's basically it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video on Devolution's web login and how to connect it to Remote Desktop Manager. As always, feel free to contact us at devolutions.net and visit our forum if you have any questions or comments about this application. As well, make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel so that you can get the latest and greatest tips and tricks, as well as other information regarding all of our software tools for you.